modify NURBS objects, the create surfaces rollout, uloft. Let's create some objects first. I'm going to go over here to my splines. I'll create an ellipse. So there's my ellipse. And I'll create a circle. And there's my circle. And let's say here is my uh, ellipse again. All right. Picking on this ellipse, I'm going to move it up in the Z elevation. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing with my circle. I'm going to move it up in the Z elevation. And I'm actually going to take this and rotate it just a bit. All right. I'm going to just uh, give it a little spin. And now I got three different uh, splines. I'm going to pick on each spline and convert it to a NURBS. And convert it to a NURBS. And convert it to a NURBS. Now, I'm going to pick on one of them. And I'm going to go down over to my uh, command panel, go to modify, go into my NURBS surface, and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose uloft. I'm going to pick on the first curve for the uloft. I'm going to loft, which means I'm going to mold it from one surface to another. Think of it as a, from pouring it in a cake pan, if you will. I'm going to pick on the second surface. And you can see that it built a surface from one um, shape to the other. And now I'll pick on the next surface. And it built then the next shape. I'm going to right click. And I'll bail out here and finish the command. And you can kind of see if I spin this around how the shape looks. Okay. So... All right, go back to home here. So I end up building a surface between each shape and building up the loft of this shape. So the loft is a dependent sub-object and it's created across multiple curved sub-objects.